Right then, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is fantastic news. Um, ones that I don't think anyone was really expecting. Twilight of the Dead. George A. Romero's final zombie movie is now in the works. Now this is the legend. The man himself. George A. Romero. Coming back to the zombie genre. Sort of, I guess. Um, it's just fascinating. It's an exclusive via The Hollywood Reporter. Now, uh, Suzanne Romero, wife of, of course, the late, legendary film director, has quietly been working with screenwriters on the script and is now seeking meetings with directors. So, it, it sort of, it, it tells me there's some respect there. You know, it's the wife. She's, she's been working on it. She's been meeting with screenwriters, uh, now meeting with directors. It sounds, hopefully, like it's not a cash grab. And I'd like to be a bit earnest in it and say it's definitely not a cash grab. I hope not anyway. So let's dive into this today, ladies and gents. Uh, link down below is this article. And then also in the description box are, are two other things. There is a link to my Blu-ray. You can still grab it. Please do help support the channel. Go grab that Blu-ray for my film, Black Fields. The film is there, the prequel film, as well as an hour-long making of documentary, the soundtrack and concept art. Now also in the description box is a link to my second channel. I do have a car channel, I'm not just a disembodied voice or a floating pair of shoulders. You can actually go and see my legs over there. I have a car channel, it's called Car Nonsense, you'll find it linked down below. If you're into cars, you'll like that channel. But anyway, on with this channel's stuff, which is movies. Another one of my great passions. So, 1968, of course, filmmaker George A. Romero unleashed the zombie genre with Night of the Living Dead, and it, it, it was amazing. It is an amazing film. It's a low-budget sensation that remains as relevant today as it was decades ago. He defined the zombie genre. George A. Romero and zombies, they are always in the same discussion. Never, never, ever, ever do you discuss one without the other. You just don't. Now, the filmmaker went on to direct five more zombie features, including Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Land of the Dead. Now, what few people knew was that before he died of lung cancer, sadly, at 77 in 2017, Romero was quietly developing Twilight of the Dead, a concluding chapter intended to be his final statement in the genre he helped define and was a legend in. Now, Suzanne Romero, the widow, of course, of uh, Romero, is uh, basically opening up Twilight of the Dead and sharing her plans to take it to the screen. Now, she's been developing the script with three screenwriters for the past few years and is ready to meet with directors on the project. Now, again, so when I, well, this is what makes it sound a bit more respectful, okay? So obviously, he died sadly, tragically in 2017. And the Hollywood Reporter notes here that uh, the wife, Suzanne, she's been working on it for the last few years. So let's just round it to two years, a couple years, two years. Um, I, I would say it, that's, I think that's fair. It sounds like it was his legacy. It sounds like this was something that he really wanted to do. His final chapter it was something that he was working on. Just a final statement. Here it is. She would obviously be privy to a lot of uh, those story elements, the narrative structure. And is now wanting to finish, obviously, her late husband's great work. I, I think that's good. I genuinely think that there's some hope for that. Now, she's been developing the script with three screenwriters for the past few years. It's now ready, of course, to meet with directors on the project, which has this tantalizing logline. The story is set in a decimated world. Life has all but disappeared. But there still may be hope for humanity. Sounds, uh, I mean, look, it's a nice logline. Not that. It, it, it's just enough to wet your whistle, that logline. It, it, it's just a little bit of a tease. And I don't hate it. I think it sounds good. I think it um, It sounds, hopefully, like there'll be something interesting there. You know, humanity's all but gone. There's a little bit there. Ooh, something, glimmer of hope. Now, George A. Romero wrote a treatment for Twilight of the Dead. With Paolo Zalati, after the director's death, Zalati asked Suzanne Romero for permission to continue with the script. He brought on screenwriters Joe Netta and Robert L. Lucas to help. 
Uh, I gave him my full blessing, as long as I could be there every step of the way for it to remain true to George's vision, says Suzanne Romero. We had a solid treatment at the beginning of the script. I can 100% say that George would be incredibly happy to see this continue. He wanted this to be his final stamp on the zombie genre. So there you go. I mean, it's not it's not away from uh, who, who was already working on it, you know? Uh, George was working on it with Paolo. I mean, it seems very, very respectful. And this is the thing, because I saw this initially and I was like, oh, this this sounds great. And then you read into it and you go, oh, maybe not. But then as more information is revealed, you go, oh, yeah, okay. No, this starts to sound like someone trying to finish someone's legacy. And I think that's nice. I think that's really, yeah, I think that's that's quite special there, quite frankly. Now, Romero's 2005 film Land of the Dead introduced a big daddy, an intelligent zombie leader whose fate has left an open question at the end of the film. George A. Romero wanted an answer to what came next. Everything started with my question to him. Where do the zombies go at the end of Land of the Dead? Says Zalati. George A. Romero directed two more zombie films after Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead and 2009's Survival of the Dead. But he did not consider those as part of the same overarching story, that began with Night of the Living Dead. It was no secret that Diary and Survival were not the way he envisioned uh, the series ending, and George knew it very well. Twilight of the Dead was his goodbye to the genre he created and wanted to go out with a powerful film. As the three screenwriters worked, they also watched videos of George A. Romero coming up with the treatment, and I could see how happy George was, almost giddy, recalls Netta. That made us focus even more on bringing this to life the way he would have wanted. Very, very nice, very respectful. Lucas, a lifelong Romero fan, says developing the final piece of the puzzle in the dead universe was a dream come true. And Suzanne Romero is, of course, now ready to start meeting directors to complete George A. Romero's zombie saga. And she says that this is the film he wanted to make. And while someone else will carry the torch as the director, it is very much George A. Romero film. Fantastic. And uh, Suzanne runs the George A. Romero Foundation, which seeks to preserve the filmmaker's legacy and empower indie filmmakers. So, here you go. I mean, who do you think would be a good fit to finish and apply that final stamp to George A. Romero's legacy of the uh, the dead franchise? I guess you, you'd call it the dead franchise. Um, who, who? Who do you think? Who do you think? I wouldn't mind a bit of Del Toro. In there, I wouldn't even mind a bit of Neil Blomkamp, actually. I think both picks would be very, very good. But what's your pick? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe. Thank you, of course, so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.